the sweltering heat in Accra, Ghana greeted the Morgan State University Choir on their annual international spring tour. The choir will spend the next two weeks touring Ghana, Togo, Benin, and Nigeria. The first stop is at the Cape Coast Castle, where members of the choir will visit the Door of No Return, which tells the horrific yet compelling story of the West African slave trade. But first, let's grab a bite to eat at the Kokoto Guest House. The buffet-style spread contained lots of traditional food, including jollof rice and plantains and red beans, which is a complimentary dish which is traditionally eaten together. Oguchi is native to Nigeria and is the first tenor in the choir. As we talk and laugh over lunch, he explains what dialect we can expect to hear throughout the tour. Nigerian English is uh, common among all West African states, or West African countries, Nigeria, Ghana, and um, it originated from Nigeria. So it's like um, the real English. But um, during the colonial era, um, our forefathers didn't really understand the rules of English, you know, like single or plural and all that, so they just mix it together. And, uh, but the basic thing is for you to understand what they say. But if you pay attention, you'll definitely understand it. Okay? Like where you did go, which means where are you going to? So it's simple. Now that we've eaten and gained some knowledge on the dialect, let's head over to Cape Coast Castle. We began at the Male Slave Dungeon which is an underground cellar that kept between 200 to 300 male slaves for months at a time. As we moved deeper into the cellar, the air became thick and hot, and the lights you see on the wall were non-existent during the slave trade. Although the cellar had window pockets, there wasn't much light seeping through the cellar. So we just finished touring the Cape Coast Castle here in Ghana. And it's been a, a very emotional day for the Morgan State University Choir. And it's very surreal to hear all of the things that you learn in, in the classroom. And you're, you're seeing them right before your eyes. For example, we went inside the male slave dungeon and the uh, female slave dungeon, and we were able to actually witness the waste that piled up and that had eventually become solids. Women were menstruating and they had to just bleed out because there was or no care for the women that were slaves here. Um, and not even to mention, there is actually a, they actually built a church right here, right on top of the slave dungeons where the slaves were held. They were shouting, dancing, praising, singing, and slaves were groaning, screaming in agony, just wanting freedom. <laughs> The night was still young, but we ended our tour with a welcome home, drumming and dancing demonstration. I'm Ashton Wilson on assignment with WEAA.